welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Jenny and this is our Houston Smith home. In today's video, we're going to be talking about thrifting, but instead of my usual thrift with me and thrift haul videos, today I'm going to take some of the things that I have found, home decor related items I have picked up at the thrift store and I'm going to show you how I've styled them in my home. So hopefully that will give you some ideas. I know it can be a little overwhelming when you go into the thrift store and you see all of these things, but it's hard to get an idea of maybe how you could use them in your home. So today I'm just going to kind of walk you through, show you some different ways I have styled items I picked up at the thrift store, maybe give you some ideas of things to look for, just some basic classic items that you can pick up at the thrift store and decorate your homes and it's going to look high end. So this this is going to be some ideas of how you can use the things you purchase at the thrift store. Keep yourself on a budget, but have a nice home. So if that sounds like something that interests you, stay tuned. We'll go throughout the home and I will show you some ideas. All right, so I just gathered up a few things that I knew I was going to be using today. Some of these you've probably seen before in previous hauls. Some of them you may not have seen. Some of them I've already been using. Some of them I have not. Um, so y'all know I always have a wide variety of brass candlesticks. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get out my spring colored candles and do that. I think I'm gonna swap out my fruit bowl for this little tray. Um, I've got a couple of different pillows and some pillow covers here. Um, just some nice textures and variety. This was a great find. Do y'all remember this one? It's the West Elm brand. You know, those are so expensive. It's actually an outdoor pillow. Y'all, excuse my hands. I've been painting this morning. Um, so this was $10, but these pillows are so expensive. I actually think I might put that outside on my back patio. But for now, I'm going to find somewhere in here to put it. This is just like a little throw rug. And I initially put it in my boys' bathroom, but it does not stay put and they have it all over the place. So I think I'm gonna try to find somewhere new to put that. Uh, this rug will actually go in the camper if it fits and the camper's covered up outside. It's still one rise. So I may try to find somewhere in here to put it for now or just somewhere to give you some ideas of what you might could do with um, things like that. Uh, this was one of my favorite finds from my last thrift haul. I'm going to fill that up with some water for my diffuser, so I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that. These are just a couple of little wooden uh, trinkets that I found, and then I just stripped them down to bare wood because I like that look better. And so I'll show you kind of how I style those and what I do with those. A uh, little potato masher I found recently i'm gonna style that on my hutch and so like i said these are just a few things i pulled out to show you real quick but i will be showing some other things as well but if this looks like something you would like to see styled stay tuned I cleaned up a few of these brass candlesticks. I like the old look. I don't like to do anything to my brass candlesticks except just wash them down with a little bit of Dawn soap and water and rinse them off good. And so I got out my spring candles. Those twisted candles are so cute. They come from Hobby Lobby, so very inexpensive. And then the star of the show here is this little picture. I love to put room temperature water in my diffusers whenever I use the diffuser. I think it gives it the prettier mist. I think it does a better mist if it's room temperature and not cold water. So I knew that was the perfect thing to use that picture for when I came across it. And I just think that worked out perfectly here. And I just am really happy with it. What do y'all think of that? What would you use this little picture for? So I was actually changing out my candlesticks over there and I started going through and finding all of my candlesticks and the different colors and stuff like that. And I was just kind of had them everywhere and I was thinking, I need a way to like organize these or a box or something to put them in. And I actually remembered that I had picked this up at the thrift store last year. And um, at one time I kind of put some snacks in there. I thought maybe I'd use it in the camper, maybe the summer. I never did put it in the camper and it was just sitting here in my pantry and I thought, oh, I can use that for my candlesticks. 
So as you can tell, these are my favorite candlesticks. It's the beeswax candles from Hearth and Hand. I don't know if they still have them at Target or not. I'll see if they do and link them. They are so good. And then I get most of my candlesticks at Hobby Lobby. And these are the ones that I use for the fall. But I think that's gonna be perfect. And then I can put um, some longer ones, like the pink ones that I just put out. I can put those right here. And that is just perfect storage. So a lot of times you'll pick up stuff and you may not exactly have an idea for it, but you will find something to do with it. Here's what I currently have going on in this little corner and I'm just not really happy with it. I do love this basket. I actually thrifted that too. And I thrifted this little Lazy Susan. I actually was gonna use it in the camper and it didn't fit really anywhere that I wanted it to, but this basket's way too big for this space. So I think I'm gonna swap it out for this. Um, I just washed it and cleaned it up, but I could not get that spot going. So, um, I did disinfect it though, so I think it'll be fine, but let's see what we can do here. Okay, so I thought the little basket was pretty plain on its own, so I gathered up a couple of more items just to give this corner a little something, which I actually wanted to cover up the, uh, plug in there, but then it just didn't look right. It looked off. So I used this um, little tea kettle. It did come from the thrift store as well. It's just a little copper tea kettle. I love it, vintage. And then I just threw all of my fruit in the basket. And for a little bit of height back there, I added a cutting board that just came from the Target dollar spot. So I think it was $3 or $5, probably five. But that just adds a little something to that corner. So that's just an idea for baskets. I love to pick up baskets, any kind of baskets. You can use them for organization, storage, displays, decor. They are just, you can do anything with baskets. So I love, love, love to shop baskets at the thrift store. I love to use wood accents over on my hutch in the um, dining area. And so these were just a few things that I picked up um, at the thrift store. And these were just um, finished in a darker wood and I just wanted that natural look. So I stripped them down. This one I used the strip wheel QCS stripper. This one I actually tried the easy off oven cleaner method and I mean they both worked good. But obviously the QCS is a very much more natural, safer way to strip wood but anyway that's beside the point and then I picked up this little potato masher and so I thought that would go good on my hutch now this one I've been using right here with my diffuser I've got the um, Young Living Aria diffuser here I've got it on a little stand there and so I've been using it here and I've just been sitting my essential oils up there and that way I've got them handy and displayed and so that's what I've been doing with that one and then we'll head over here to the hutch and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with the others. So I've still got this little winter uh, piece here, little faux greenery, I think it's hearth and hand, but just to elevate that a little bit and like I said, up against the white and I have a lot of like white accessories, white dishes, stuff like that. So I do like to add in some wood accents. Pretty sure that one came from the thrift store as well. The cutting board, I always look for cutting boards, rolling pins, anything like that. Um, so this will just elevate that greenery a little bit and add in some of the um, wood touches. And that, my sweet little baby white made that for me in Sunday school yesterday. He's not really my nephew, but he's kind of like my nephew. And he made that for me, is that not precious? It says, God loves you. So I had to display it and send him a picture of it yesterday. And then I've just had this little potato masher sitting right here, this pink bowl. It was my husband's grandma's. And so I put it out for like kind of a Valentine's Day and spring decor. And so there you have it. I just like to use those. I know a lot of people have white kitchens now and like white backsplash, white cabinets, white countertops. And I love wooden accents up against all of that white. So that's something to keep your eye out for. And if you don't like the color or the finish, you can easily strip it. our master bathroom and it has always been the hardest room to photograph or video it's just a very long slim room and but this is our master bathtub and so I brought this in here and just put it here we've got the darker gray walls and then on our tub um, we had kind of like a tan colored tile around the edges and I painted that white and then we added a little bit of shiplap around that window and then we added the chandelier which I absolutely love. It is my favorite thing about the bathroom. It actually was just a can light up above the tub there. And then we ended, added that chandelier and it's from Amazon. Super affordable, perfect size for above a tub. 
I'll link it if it's still available. But yeah, I just brought this black rug in here. Like I said, I'm pretty sure that's gonna go in my camper, but it had the nice rubber backing, which made me think to put it in the bathroom. So that's an idea and it's nice and long, so it goes the whole length of the tub. So that's an idea and it was only $6.99, so I feel like it actually does go in here pretty well. And while we're on the topic of rugs, I threw this one down in front of my back door, but y'all, I've got to have something under it, something to grip because this rug is just a throw rug. It doesn't have any kind of grip. I actually just laid it right on top of the rug that I had here, which is the same situation. It has no kind of grip. So the minute you walk in and out, which in the winter time, the kids are not in as in and out of this door as much as they are in the summer. Cause in the summer they're out all the time. Cause we have a pool out there. And, um, so I definitely have to have some kind of grip if I'm going to put it here. I do like it here. It's the right size for this door and it kind of goes along with my other rugs. You know, it goes along okay. But I, I wanted it in my boy's bathroom and I actually put it in there in front of their bathtub and it did not stay put. It was all over the place. So tell me in the comments, what do you use for small rugs like this to keep them in place? Is there just a small rug gripper or something that you can get um, that will keep these in place. Because I don't really know what to do with it if I can't put something under it to keep it from slipping. Give me all of your best ideas. So easy peasy on the throw pillow here. I have been using this one already. Y'all have seen it before. I'm sure in some of my hauls and decorate with me's and all of that kind of stuff, I just threw it in this big basket. And I still have kind of my winter stuff out in here. So this little Christmas, well, I'm not gonna say Christmas tree, this little tree pillow, it was in the dollar spot at Target around Christmas time. It was $5 and that green, I've just still had that out kind of for winter. And then this huge basket that I have it in actually came from the thrift store too. And I only paid $5 for that, which was amazing price. And then I just threw an extra couple of cozy pillows and I have that styled. Y'all excuse the mess. I obviously didn't even clean up my house to make this video. So excuse the mess you're seeing there. But I just have that right here in the corner with my big pretty mirror that came from Hobby Lobby. And yeah, that just gives it a little cozy feel there. And then again with this throw pillow, I just threw it in my boho chair here that's in my office. Got a little table there beside it. And that huge pillow is the one I was telling you about. That's the West Elm brand. I think I'm gonna put it outside when I get all my patio furniture out this spring. Y'all stay tuned for that. I'll share my patio with you when we get all of that stuff out. I'm so ready for spring because today and tomorrow, we are supposed to have sunny days near 60 degrees. So I'm super excited about that and it makes me ready for spring. This little table actually came from Amazon and then I just dip dyed the legs myself or I just painted the legs to give it the dip dyed look So I'll link that too if they still have it But yeah, that pillow I probably will put outside but those pillows you can just throw them anywhere And this goes in here in my office perfectly like it matches the colors of everything so well Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that maybe gave you some ideas. Did you see anything you liked? Tell me in the comments maybe the favorite thing that you saw that I have thrifted that I now use in my home to decorate. Tell me if you see anything that you like or anything that caught your eye. I hope this inspired you maybe to go thrifting this week. If you do, let me know in the comments what you find. Let me know if you find anything good. Give me a follow over on Instagram. I'm over there at Our Houston Smith Home. I'll tag it here on the screen. Give me a follow there. I love to chat with you over there. I feel like it's a little bit more personal. We can chat in DMs. You can comment on my stuff. I do share home decor over there and I do share over there a lot of furniture flips and painting furniture and things like that. So if that interests you, give me a follow over there. If not, I'll see you next week here. I do upload a new video every Tuesday here on YouTube and I'm starting to incorporate a few YouTube shorts. So maybe you've been seeing those. I don't know if you have or not, um, but you may be seeing those. And I recently jumped on the TikTok train and so you can find me over there as well. Everywhere I'm our Houston Smith home. But I appreciate you all so much for being here. Come back next week. See you then. Bye.